Hey guys, we welcome you to online. So we have already had part one. Uh, they dealing about the size and location, the actual location of India and the Asian continent, and the imaginary lines. In part two, you saw the difference in time lag in the country, uh, that is between Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat. Now, in this part, we are going to deal about the neighbors of our country, that is India's neighbor. As you know, as the day, uh, the past history, India had the neighbors as part of its own land. But after the independence, many uh, territories became independent, and now they are our neighbors, most of them. So let us look upon and have a detailed uh, information about them. So the map shows you about the frontiers shared by the neighboring countries. Now, according to the direction, you can see the north, northwest, northeast, and south, west, south. So you'll be seeing the countries and islands sharing the frontiers. Now land frontiers if you see in the northwest you can notice that Afghanistan is on the top and Pakistan. And history if you refer Pakistan had partition with us that is our country and Pakistan were partitioned near nineteen forty seven. That is, our independence prior to our independence, Pakistan achieved its independence. So, 14, 1947, August 1947, Pakistan attained independence and partition was successful. And we attained our independence on 16, 1947, 16 August 19. So the country was partitioned and Afghanistan is on the top of Pakistan and Nepal is uh, sharing our frontier in the north and uh, northeast you can see Bhutan, Myanmar and China in the north. You can see here in the south uh, Maldives, the southwest. And in the southern part, you have Sri Lanka being separated from Park Strait. So they are the uh, neighbors of our country. Now, to know according to the direction, as I mentioned by locating on the map, these are the uh, neighboring countries on a particular direction. Now we are going to look upon it in one by one. So Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest. China, which has control over Tibet, some parts, and India is having the territories. Nepal and Bhutan in the north. Myanmar and Bangladesh in the land, island countries, Sri Lanka and Maldives. Sri Lanka is separated from India by Park State, as I mentioned earlier, and the Gulf of Mannar. Maldives islands are situated to the south of Lakshadweep Island. So these are the uh, countries that. They share the frontiers land-wise and the water-wise according to the direction. Now, 
Now you can see on the world map, uh, Asian subcontinent is India, which have with its neighbors. So in the south, you can see southwest and south. Um, you can see here the Park Strait, South Sri Lanka, divide, uh, been separated, and Lakshadweep, the west, under it, Gulf of Manna, Maldives. So, what is Gulf? The two water bodies be separating the land, and Myanmar in the east. North. So Bhutan and Myanmar in the north, Nepal in the north, Pakistan. So these are the locations of the neighboring countries. Here we are going to see about the various commodities and culture and ideas being. Uh, Shared with other countries through land routes and sea routes, and what they are contributed to sea routes, we are going to concentrate. Now, to exchange ideas, we mostly use brand, land routes, and when sea routes developed, we started following it. Now, to exchange ideas and commodities, the Upanishads and Ramayana, the series of stories of Kamsakamsa, the Indian numeral and decimal, all mostly shared with India through the travelers or traders, it reached to other countries mostly by land routes. This you have to know. Spices, muslin and other merchandise were taken from India to different countries by two sea routes as sea routes developed. These commodities from the past was being transported and traded. Now, we had an influence from other culture too. Greek culture, architecture, style being adopted, and even Minas from West Asia has been influenced uh, to us. We have adopted the style and art in our uh, country. Now you can see this map. It shows that India on international highway of trade and commerce through sea routes and land routes. You can see the dotted lines are sea routes and So, air routes is a straight line and dotted lines are sea routes. You can uh, see how the routes are all over the world being connected. It's a network. Now, I want to concentrate on India's uh, strategic point in Indian Ocean. So we have to see that India's significance development in trade and uh, the ideas shared to other countries, if you see, is due to the contribution of the strategic point in Indian Ocean as it's our country's coastline is longest. So, the uh, trade route in the past was very long. Uh, Indian trading was done uh, around, uh, around uh, South Africa. It, they used to take the long route and reach Europe. But once Suez Canal was opened in 1869, it became a short distance to reach Europe and saved time. So, this cannot help drastic manner in saving time, traveling, and also reaching with short distance. 
So India's distance from Europe has been reduced by 7,000 kilometers to Suez Canal, which was opened in 1869. Now, pre-partition map is shown to you before 1947, how our country was having its territory be, uh, before uh, independence. Many princely states being ruled by the uh, kings and princes, and after the independence, it was Sadawalla by Patel who had organized, re made a reorganization of states through military strategy and um, diplomatic ways, and we made many princely states to unite with our country. Now here you can see the Union Territories of India. Uh, the Union Territories are about eight now. Andaman, Nicobar Islands, Port Lake, 